People like pictures. They love to make them, they love to look at them, they love to relive that one moment. For me, every picture is an opportunity to evoke the entire spectrum of human emotion. When people respond to something I've created, that's what makes it all worthwhile. My name is Susan Poyle, and I've been a professional photobomber for almost three years now. Originally, I called it photo spoiling, but that name didn't really stick. I guess people just like bombs. Even as a child, I've never taken a good picture. So at some point, I just decided to own that and start photobombing. In the beginning, there wasn't really a strategy behind it all. It was more about being in the frame than about really adding something. But over the years, I developed different techniques and faces that just contribute something special to the photograph. Photobombing is all about self-control. People always assume that what I do takes no effort, but I have dedicated years of my life to be able to control every muscle in my face and sculpt my expressions to perfection. But it's not all about me, you know. As a photobomber, you have to be able to take a step back. Even today, I sometimes take it too far and you can't even see the people behind me anymore. You have to know your limits. But also, in daily life, photobombing comes at a price. I can't just turn it off. Even when I'm with friends or family, it's hard for me not to photobomb. Smile. At first I only photobombed friends, but then I started doing parties, concerts, festivals, and before I knew it I was trending. From then on it all went really fast. When someone wants me at their event, they expect a certain standard, so I have categorized all my expressions so people know what they pay for. You could say I have made a decent living for myself. Three years ago, I could never have thought that photobombing would take me this far. But three years from now, who knows where we'll be. I've got a feeling the future has big things in store. Picture not spoiled is a memory.